Hey everybody and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I am that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear to my spirit. So let's get into it. So you already know we on our 10th, 10th tip. Today is the 10th tip that I'm going to give you to help you get a man to marry you, ladies, because that's what we need to do. We need to be getting married. So I'm going to reverse it and give you the order um, that I've given you so far. So far, I told you number nine, don't be scary. Number eight, you got to be clean. Number seven, you don't be sneaky. Number six, you got to learn to be quiet. Number five, you got to learn to share. Number four, you got to learn to cook. Number three, don't be greedy. Number two, you got a sex when he asks you to. And number one, you have got to listen. All right. So today we're going to go into number 10. Um, but I just want to pay these bills real quick. You know, because that's what I got to do. NicoleArcher.com is where I am. I release new videos on my Average Woman podcast every Tuesday and Wednesday at 12 o'clock. I also post on the Average Woman channel on YouTube on Wednesdays and Fridays sometimes three sometimes 11 um but i'm there um you can schedule some time with me if you ever want to talk and kick it one-on-one i ain't gonna tell your business i'm your sister from a different mister i ain't gonna tell you what you want to hear i'm gonna tell you what you need to do to get results the results that you want all right i got number love for my sisters and we will be right back after these messages ladies Hey, thanks for listening to my podcast. If you ever wanted to have your very own podcast, I can tell you how to set it up right now. Anchor is an awesome app that's free to download. You can use its creation tools to edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast so that you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more other platforms. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenerships. And also, it has everything that you need in one place. All you need to do is go download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. I look forward to hearing your new podcast any day now. Thanks. And now back to the show. and we are back and thank you so much for tuning in so let's get into it so today how to get a man to marry you what's what's something that you should be doing in order for a man to say hey she's doing that I really want her okay so this actually truly should have been number one or at least number two okay but you know I had to save the best for my 10th video because as you can already tell I'm you know so without further ado, let's just say it. So the 10th thing that you need to be doing in order to be, to be considered a man's wife is you need to really have a fear for God. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you fear God, you are at least a, a, a woman that's going to operate with some sort of moral value. Okay? If you, if you have a fear and you understand how God operates... That man knows that you are going to treat him with a certain level of respect because you know what the Bible says. You understand the order that it's the, the, it's the, it's the man, the woman, and the children. You understand that. So a man is definitely, definitely going to want to wife you because he knows that if he becomes your, if, if he becomes your husband and he puts his children in you, that you're not going to turn his kids against him and run off with his kids into the night. He knows that you're going to hold yourself at a certain level of respect if you fear God. Because God wants his daughters that he put on this earth to treat his sons a certain type of way. And a woman of God understands and knows that I was made, I was put here for this man to love me I am here to love him and to be of an assistance for him I'm here to make him better his life better 
because he's making me better. He's making my life better. He gave me babies and a purpose. So women who fear God, they have an understanding. They understand what is required of them. Now, a lot of y'all at the Christian church, I'm not talking to y'all because y'all don't read the Bible. I'm not talking to Christians because Christians don't read the Bible. They go on what they feel. But women from other cultures that actually study and understand what their what their book, their holy book says, they hold themselves at a different standard and a different level. OK, they might not be treated the best by their men, but that's to, to each his own, you know, however their culture do. But what I'm talking about is if you want your man to love you, love, put God first, because if you love God first, you know that God wants you to treat your man and for you to operate a certain type of way. So you're going to hold yourself to that Proverbs 31 woman level. OK. At the end of the day, a woman who truly knows God and knows how God wants her to operate, she going to always have a man. That woman who chooses to walk in that righteousness. And I'm not saying she the best thing and she don't curse because she'll curse you out if you get on her bad side. But cursing ain't got nothing to do with none of that. You know what I'm saying? Swearing ain't got nothing to do with that. It's just about you trying to reckon with her and she's not that friendly like you think she should be, okay? Because we got a total misconception of what we think a righteous woman is supposed to be. You think a righteous woman is supposed to be some sweet pushover woman that you could just talk. No, ma'am. You see how my husband rode? I'm even more deadly. I'm a silent deadly one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like that. You know what I'm saying? So, understand. Really, in order to really, really be a, a, a beautiful woman of, of, of to your husband uh, in order to be chosen as a man's wife the most sexiest thing that you can do is fear God and understand who you are and, and, and how you're supposed to be rolling and how you're supposed to be conducting yourself with this man that's what it's about we're here to serve and love them that is our purpose that's your purpose you're looking for purpose in life you want to know what your purpose is your purpose is to get yoked up by some man and be his wife and have some some babies and go on vacations and eat good food and stuff. That's it. <laughs> I know you thought it was all kind of no. That's not no. That's what your purpose is. Just regular you regular folks. You know, average regular folks. That's what we supposed to be doing. You know, contributing to the society and the well-being and raising of our children. Not I don't know what else other plans you got. You know what the the uh to run with the buffaloes or some stuff you know I don't know what your goal plan is or what you think it's supposed to be but you're not supposed to be single forever running the streets going to the clubs you should have been stopped going to the clubs long time ago ladies that's been played out you know what I'm saying but of course you know I'm crazy you can't tell I can't tell you nothing girl because you know everything girl I can't tell you nothing you know and who am I to talk I'm just some old average woman yeah She's just an average woman. <laughs> like, that's a bad thing. Anyway, so yes, ladies, you have to love God, fear God in order to really be a good wife. Because a man wants you to be that feminine bundle of goodness that you are. Not a hard, old, crusty stick in the mud that's all battered and bruised because she done had so many... She done had more bad times than good times. Well, guess what? If you had, uh, if you grew up in your life and you grew up with a lot of hard times, okay? I'm sorry that you had hard times in life. But once you reached a certain age that you was able to take care of yourself and fix some of those past issues, you know, now it's time for you to turn the page and begin writing a new chapter. We got to write a new chapter of how we want to, I mean, my goal is, your goal and my goal might be different. But see, I want to, I want to, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be, when God looks at me from heaven or wherever he's chilling at, like I want him to say that, that, my, that, that, my daughter right there, that's one of my favorite daughters right there. Now he might not have favorites. He might not have favorites, right? But when he looked down on me, I care about what he think. 
Okay? I care about what my husband thinks about me. Because I want to make sure that I'm my intentions for him, that he understands my intentions. It's important that your man understands your intentions and, and what you're trying to accomplish with him and who you are trying to be to him. Okay? Because a lot of times your intentions can be like misread and it causes problems in the relationship because you might think that your husband needs you to be his mama and he don't. But your intentions was just to let him know that you're down with him. But, your, but you might be overstepping the line. Because what he needs you to do is not what you're doing. So you what so where so when he understands your intentions, he could be like, oh well, that's just how she is because she worries about XYZ. But you have to make sure that you understand what your husband needs from you. Out you have to understand what your God needs from you in order to receive his blessings. Same thing with your husband. You gotta understand what your husband needs from you. In order to receive his blessings. You know? And the only way you're going to find that out. Is you got to read the book. To find out what our father needs in heaven. Our father. You know that one? You got to read the book to find out what he needs. Proverbs 31 is a good one to start with. Titus 2 and 3. Indicate all is in the KJV. Um, Those are some good chapters. You know, very good for the woman to read. To understand her position and what she's supposed to, and who she's supposed to be. The story of Adam and Eve is a good way, is a good part to start. When you understand that Adam was made first and then he was put to sleep and then a rib was removed from him and made into you, you are a part of Adam. You were made for Adam because God said that it is not right for a man to be alone. So let me make him somebody. If God didn't want a man to be alone, Surely he don't want a woman to be alone. So our natural place is with our men. And you have to understand your world, understand, understand that who you are to God also helps you to understand who you are as a woman. You know, your place in this world, your purpose in this world. You know, we get so distracted by all this this silly stuff with with TV and social media and all this stuff that we really forget who we supposed to be as people. But when you have a when you have an understanding of who who you are to God, it's kind of hard for people to uh, to make you believe that it's something that it ain't, you know. So fear God, love your husband, stay in order, respect and raise your kids and teach your kids to love their father, to respect their father, talk good to them about their father, promote their father in a way that you've never heard anybody else promote their father. You got to say it. You got to say it. They need to hear it. My mama say my daddy a good man. So guess what he going to do? He going to listen. Because if my daddy a good man, I want to be a good man too. So I'm going to listen to what my, what my daddy says. And guess what? In the in the return, daddy gonna say, "Listen to your mama." So the kids gonna listen to your mama, and they gonna look up the mama and think mama is. Well, they already gonna think that about you anyway, just because you feed them real good. So you already got it inside straight to the baby's heart. But it's important that you connect the babies to where you get your strength from, which is the father, which is your husband. They father your husband. All right. So I hope that you are able to utilize what I'm saying, ladies. You know, you got to have a fear of God. You got to fear God and and want to do right and do what he needs you to do. Um, And even if you don't believe in God, okay, if you don't believe in God, that's cool too. But you know what you should do if you don't believe in God? You should just believe that that man right there has expectations of you. And he needs you to behave in a way that is going to make him a better man and not stress him out. And, uh, you know, he needs you to be an assistant to him. He needs you to help him. You know, and in return, the more you help him and the more you're there and giving and loving him, he's going to return that kind of love and all that great stuff to you, too. Yeah. 
I, 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 that's usually how it works because he already wants you. So if, if he wants you, that's like half the battle. That's what you women don't even understand. Half the freaking battle is to get a guy that really just wants to just be with you and want a wife here. Okay? Because we think that we can go out here and just pick and choose a guy like we choose shoes. It does not work like that, ma'am. Okay? It does not work like that. You, It does not matter what you look like. It does not matter how much money you have. It matters. What matters is he's liking you. That's what matters. He has to really want to be with you. And if he don't want to be with you, ain't nothing that you're going to do to get him to stay. Ain't nothing that you're going to do to, to if, and if he really want to be with you, it ain't too much stuff you're going to do to make him go. And if he do go, it's going to hurt him real bad, so he's going to prolong it because he don't want his feelings hurt. But once you get a man that truly wants to, to deal with you, that's the hell you need. That's half the battle. The rest of the, the rest of the battle is being that woman that he deserves and that he needs you to be. That's that's the next step, you know? So if you can make that happen, you done won. Until next time, ladies, I will see you on the flip side. Have a great day.